Now you'll see down in the right hand corner we have a new trash can. In fact, you can have a whole new Pathfinder desktop if you want. We'll look at the uh, Pathfinder desktop later on in the tutorial. Uh, but let's focus in really on the core functionality of Pathfinder. Now, as you can see in its basic configuration, it's very reminiscent of the standard Finder, but it has lots of extra features. So what we'll do is we'll walk through some of the core features first. Uh, I mean, one of the benefits is that it's highly customizable. So although this is the default install, uh, you can change it and change it quite considerably as well to fit in with your own particular workflow. So let's start off by having a look at uh, the toolbar and the views. Now, over on the left-hand side of the toolbar, we have a back and forward button. Now, these are grayed out at the moment. We haven't started to traverse the file system hierarchy as of yet, but uh, when we do, these buttons will enable us to move easily forwards and backwards. Um, familiar to Finder users, we have uh, three buttons here for the different views, the icon view, list view, and column view. Currently, we're in column view. Um, we'll have a look at those in a bit more detail shortly. We also have a cover flow button. We also have a quick look button and then an action menu. Now, if we go back to the view options, as I mentioned before, they are similar. We have icon view, list view, and column view, but they're much more configurable than the standard finder. So if we go back to icon view, for instance, uh, control the right click on the pane and then say show view options, uh, we get this new panel that appears at the side, uh, an inspector panel. And in here, we have all the different attributes that we can actually configure for the icon view. For example, we can show invisible files, treat packages as folders, uh, always show file extensions, etc. And all these parameters are available either to all windows, or if we click on this icon, we can just configure this individual window only. I'll stick it back to all windows, and we can do such things as change the icon size, uh, change the sorting, so we've got options to uh, sort by the various parameters. Uh, smart sorting is quite neat. We'll have a look at that when we look at the uh, column and list view. And then some other attributes to do with colors and positioning of the labels. Now, if we go to list view, you'll see we have this nice uh, alternate row color. Uh, you'll notice that the list view options window has extended to uh, take into account the additional parameters that are available for us to customize. And included in there is the alternate row color. So I could actually just switch that off if I just wanted a plain white background. Uh, I can also switch on a vertical grid and also a horizontal grid as well. Now that looks very faint. You might be able to see that on the screencast. So what I will do is go to set colors, uh, switch off use default colors, click on grid color, and I'll change the opacity of the black. There you can see them nice and clearly as I change it. I'll fade it back in again. If I wanted to change the colors of the grid lines, I could do. In fact, uh, I'll leave that as uh, default colors. Anyway, we'll just close that down. Now you can set the default sort attribute currently sorted by name. You can, of course, resort by clicking on the column headers at the top. And then in list view, you've got full uh, control over which columns are actually shown. Now let's go to uh, column view. Again, the column view options window resizes just to show you those attributes that are, are available. Again, we have such things as alternate row color if you want that in column mode. Just a quick word about sorting. Uh, you'll see down here we have before sort by name. So we can actually change the default sort parameter but there's this smart sorting. Now, smart sorting gets around one of the issues some people have with OS X. Uh, for instance, if I go to my downloads directory, and uh, you can see here, this is a, a directory full of all sorts of different things. I have applications in here that I've downloaded. I have uh, file packages, folders, and also individual files as well. Now, smart sorting uh, within Pathfinder allows you to define how you want those different items to be sorted. And by default, we have the applications at the top, we have file packages, we then have the folders, and then we have the files themselves. Now, this uh, this is a much nicer way of displaying uh, your contents rather than the standard OS X way. If I actually show you the same folder in OS X, so if I right-click on my downloads folder and say reveal in Finder, you can jump straight to that directory, and the standard layout for, uh, for the Finder is to mix everything up and just sort by alphabetical order. So if we scroll down, you'll see here this is a folder, this is a folder. These are, uh, that's um, uh, an image file. So they're all sort of m mixed in together. And I know that irritates some people, especially if they're coming across from the Windows environment. Now you can configure this. Uh, what you can do is go into preferences. We just pop that column view options down and go to browser. You'll see down here, smart sort order. So we have applications, packages, folders, and files. So if you wanted your folders to appear above your applications and then your files, and then if we close that down, you'll see now all my folders are at the top. These are all my files. And then down at the bottom, I have uh, my applications and file packages. 
So that's just a quick tip to uh, control how you have your contents displayed to you in, uh, in the view.